I've seen massive growth from having uh, very low or zero transaction fees. The problem with that is these are expensive things to run. Uh, so everything that Mojo was built towards was to reduce the cost of um, uh, deploying, operating, and maintaining a, an instant payment system. The official start to the three-year count-up, as I like to call it, to 2026, and the largest public engagement effort to date. You may recall that when we were uh, looking at our currency redesign, that we also launched a public engagement effort in June of 2015. That SWIFT are changing their, their network capability so that real time will be a possibility as, there as well. But we may also see Ripple XRP. And to point fingers to others and say things like, it's impossible XRP is going to go above $500. It's impossible there will be a buyback. Wait a minute. We're working on the future generation of currency. So that is my other job. Well, we're working to get rid of Gary Gensler. Uh, I gave a hearing where I was able to communicate with him and say, look, I plan to fire you. Enjoy the ride, pal. If you got some bags, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra. Bullishness. Shout out to the latest sub. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in. Stuff in some bags. Go ahead. Throw on those moon suits. Throw on those pilot shades. Buckle up. Because the future's extra. Extra. Bullish. Let's go full speed. Full throttle. Into the cryptoverse. We have the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 1.23 trillion, down about 0.1% in the past 24. We got BTC's dominance right around 48.1%. Taking a look at the rest of the cryptocurrency market cap here, we got XRP right around 46, 47 cents, down 0.7% in the past 24. We got Stellar XLM right around 9, 10 cents. We got BTC 30,451 ETH right around 18, 19 hundo. We got Flare Networks right around 0.013, Songbird 006, Xlist 003. Spectre 0.049, we got ELS 002, we got EQ 0.035, we got Casino Coin at triple zero one four. We got a tweet from Ripple to kick things off. More than 90% of the global finance leaders think that blockchain and digital assets will significantly impact business, finance, and society in the next three years. Let's break down more of the crypto trends from our 2023 new value report. 72% of finance decisions markets expect to explore tokenization to drive innovation. The business opportunity of tokenized assets is expected to reach 16 trillion by 2030. 58 percent of the global payment leaders see faster payments as the number one value prop for incorporating crypto into their cross-border payment business check out the new 2023 value report xrp ripple net we got the digital euro association calling all developers ripple cbdc innovate challenges back join the hackathon submit your cbdc app idea by august 18th and complete for cash prizes no category limits this year let your creativity shine enter now at ripple cbdc.devpost.com we got xrp an introduction from brazil moja loop australia payment plus it's management and operations at the central bank of brazil I have been dedicated to uh, the development and implementation uh, of our instant payment ecosystem since the very beginning. Uh, and I'm currently in charge of PIX operations and leading the, the design of new products and functionalities in PIX. I have been uh, in real-time payments for more than 20 years uh, since the implementation of our RTGS system in 2002. Uh, it's a long uh, but exciting uh, journey with a lot of, lots of challenges. Uh, now working with uh, retail payments, we can see the impact of our work in, in our everyday life, which course bring a lot of extra motivation for what we do. So my name is Steve Haley. I'm the uh, director of market development at the Mojo Foundation. Uh, Mojo Foundation manages uh, a re real-time retail payments resource base, uh, primarily a code base for an instant payment system uh, that was designed uh, primarily to focus on um, the the interconnection of, of instant payments between both banks and non-banks, big banks, large mobile money providers, even small microfinance and credit unions um, to get access to the same system. Uh, it's an open source uh, uh, software, so it allows for uh, uh, countries to have their own uh, sovereign uh, payment system without having a dependency on other countries. But overall, doing things like UP, UPI here, rather than India, and, and and a number of others, including PICS, uh, so that we can get those retail fees down to uh, as close to zero, if not zero, uh, as possible. I'm the Chief Information Officer at Australian Payment Plus. AV Plus is just over a year old, and we bring together Australia's three domestic payment providers, BPay Group, FPOS, and PP Australia into one integrated entity. Our capabilities include Australian domestic debit network, 
real-time payment infrastructure, secure bill payment, digital identity exchange, QR code payment, wallet as a service solutions, and open payment experiences. So this amalgamation enable AP Plus to be uniquely placed to create a more competitive and coordinated entity that is strategically placed to respond to the impacts of the regulatory and the technological change today into the future. We got Mr. Man XRP US money to be redesigned. The US Treasury modest timeline has been set for the select currency redesigns. The redesign at the $10 schedule for 2026, followed by the $50 bill slated for 2028. And lastly, the redesign of a $20 bill in 2030. Here we go. I'm excited to share with all of you that this is the fourth of, that this 4th of July will also mark the launch of America's invitation, the official start to the three-year count-up, as I like to call it, to 2026, and the largest public engagement effort to date. You may recall that when we were uh, looking at our currency redesign, that we also launched a public engagement effort in June of 2015, and I led that effort. And that really informed me of how important it is to engage all Americans in these types of very significant historical milestones. But America's Invitation will be a multi-year national public awareness and engagement campaign to reach Americans from all walks of life in every corner of the country, ensuring this is the largest and most inclusive commemoration in our nation's history. Used to sign dollars, now it's XRP, Rosie Rios. We got Senator Cynthia Loomis. The crypto asset industry is here to stay today. Senator Gillibrand and I are reintroducing the landmark legislation to create a federal regulatory framework that allows crypto businesses and investors to prosper here in America while protecting consumers from bad actors. We got the Responsible Financial Innovation Act of 2023 fact sheet. We got the Black Swan capitalist at Layla Helper, and I'm shocked you made a complete 180 on XRP. After speaking to a former Swift employee telling you that XRP indeed is the next game changing technology, yet you refuse to acknowledge the facts, this raises the question behind your motifs promoting Bitcoin 24 7. Can you explain what happened? Um, because you're not holding dollars anymore, are you? currency you need to move into, you have a Nostro account or a correspondent account in that country, and you have to transfer or debit and credit an account in that particular country, which means you're holding many different relationships in different jurisdictions. What we've done with the use of cryptocurrency and Ripple in particular, the XRP, is to be able to look at liquidity levels for each of those particular currencies and only have one unique currency we need to switch into, which is XRP. I used to work for Swift. I was Swift for 20 years, so Swift is flowing through my veins. Swift is the pre preeminent messaging system for the financial industry, which covers, say, payments, FX, trade. What we're looking with the crypto, though, is uh, where Swift would have a store and forward system for most of its payment transactions, and where you need service level agreements that in a certain time, I will do something for payment turns up at a certain time during the day. Here, we're looking at the new network styles, which allow instant real-time movement to the funds and visibility of those funds as well. And I think um, we're also seeing that SWIFT are changing their, their network capability so that real-time will be a possibility as, there as well. But we may also see Ripple XRP moving across the SWIFT network as a currency when we're perhaps using something like it. It's XRP, not BTC. Layla, you still there? We got Mr. Intuitive, Trumers Only, Mario, Narwell, voices his opinion on the XRP and Ripple case. ETF decision is not positive. Um, I, I'm, I'm less worried about the XRP case, but uh, then again, I'm, I'm not too familiar with it. But for me, the, the ETF decision is could reverse things. I, I just don't think people are giving it enough weight. That's what reversed the markets. The market was not doing too well before BlackRock came in. Um, and if that does not materialize, I think the market has priced in an approval. Um, but then I don't predict market. Crypto Eddie, happy to see Lynette does her research too. Nobody was checking, invading the sources on the rumor of the BRICS nations announcing a gold back currency next month, maybe in the future, but no way next month. So what they might do, and this is just a suggestion from an article, is have a combination of debt and gold. But unless you can convert and I want you to hear me so clearly on this, whether you're hearing it today or you're remembering it tomorrow, unless you can convert any currency or any instrument into the physical metal, then how do you know that it's there? And how do you know that it's at the level that they're saying? You don't. But, um, I think that this was a story that just kind of 
escaped because in order to do even what they talked about in that article, which is having an instrument that has uh, that has some gold component in there, but it's still primarily a debt instrument, so it pays interest. You know, they're going to have to get rid of that debt first. They're just gonna. We got Edward Farina, XRP. XRP doesn't need America and 99.9% .9 have no clue of what's going on. About XRP and its price appreciation. Nobody really knows when the XRP price appreciation is going to happen. And regardless of the SEC lawsuit outcome, to play an important role, it doesn't rely solely on the SEC lawsuit. The XRP ledger doesn't need America. All the opinions of the personalities out there, and that includes lawyers, that also includes influencers, that also includes developers, none of that is factual. Now, everyone is entitled to have opinions, and that's actually the beauty of this space. We can have access to information, and each and every single of us can have hints on when it's going to happen, how is it actually going to happen. But what I do know is not a right attitude, it's for personalities to come full of certainty and to point fingers to others and say things like, it's impossible XRP is going to go above $500, it's impossible there will be a buyback. Wait a minute, do you work inside the government? Who are you? You are a developer, you are sitting on your desk all day creating programs and you think you know everything. I don't care who the fuck you are. If you come to point finger to others with arrogance, I already know that most likely you are wrong. So please, unless you are pulling the trigger and you work inside the government, which I don't think is the case for 99.90% .90 of the people who are watching these videos, you have not the right to be arrogant and to point fingers to other people because all we have right now it's hints of what is actually going to happen. I have many times in my life made predictions where people called me crazy and they pointed fingers saying that I was wrong and it happened that I was right most of the times. That's my experience. So usually that people who came crucifying you, those are the people who actually have no clue of what's going to happen. And they point fingers because of their own insecurities about what's going to happen. That's my message for today. Keep doing your own research. The only thing left to do now is load up on the greatest opportunity of multiple lifetimes. Clock is ticking. Tick tock. We got Masari CEO says Ripple vs. SEC ruling due soon. Mentions Ripple CLO as the most important lawyer. 2023 20, ruling do soon we got blockchain backer after holding for six months the us dollar currency exchange index dxy takes out the lows that sentiment feed inflation in the us rose just 0.2 percent in june great news for the owners of equities gold and silver and somewhat surprisingly crypto hasn't been impacted by the cpi report yet regardless social volumes related to the topic has spiked on the crypto platforms we got jd btc when the macd has confirmed the bullish cross and the stochastic rsi crosses above the 80 level this has marked the start of the next bull cycle all coins follow will next month give us the confirmation crosses to start the next bull cycle and we got Edgar crypto in the below chart xrp i can say that one key piece of evidence that supports the power of the monthly macd is the occurrence of a bullish cross when this happens it typically signals that the next monthly price candle will experience a surge and kick off a new bull run Looking at historical data, we can see that the previous levels of the bull run lasted 884 days from the turning point of the red to the green. If history repeats itself, we could see a similar timeline for the next bull run with the expected bullish cross occurring on June 1st, 2024. However, there is also the possibility of an earlier cross happening on August 1st, 2023. Of course, only time will tell if these predictions come true, but one thing that could cancel out the close proximity of the expected bullish cross is a major shift. Price action, XRP Army. Stay ready. And with that being said, XRP, know what you hold, know what's coming, and know why they want you out. That a uh, particular family of notes. We are working on the future generation of currency. So that is my other job. We're working on the future generation of currency. So that is my other job. Where will you be when that regulation jar of molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price in the Phoenix rises? 
to the top. Bye bye glitches. glitches. Tick tock. Tick tock. I am the XRP Bagman. Moon Commander. Currently up here. On the mothership. Stuffing some bags and enjoying the show. Appreciate you stopping by. Tuning in. Smashing those likes for some more. Moon o'clock news. Hope y'all continue to stay extra. Extra. Bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD. Buy up those bags. And don't forget to spread. That liquid love. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to drop a subscribe. Drop a comment down below. All the OG diamond hands out there. Drop a comment down below. Drop an elbow on that like button from the top ropes. Catch you up here. Top floor on the mothership for the moon party. BYOB. Bring your own bags. Be your own bank. Bring your own billions. Peace out, crypto ghost. Where do we go? We saw the show. Look at us now. We hit a thou. Where do we go? Nobody knows. Rising up the penis, sleeping giants taking over. Keep on climbing, proof of work. Keep declining, it kills the planet. Bitcoin dying, politicians keep on lying. That top prize, what we iron deep, stake it, ate by lions. That was the field, it's so exciting. We was tired, holding strong, holding long, but kept on fighting. Now we striving, faces melted, rockets flying. They say pressure bust.